excited! It's school break and I get to go swimming? Where did all the pool water go? I replaced it with a library! What? Pools imply fun, and fun is stupid! You should be doing something better with your time! Mom, are you serious? Now get to reading! I have homework assignments for you once you're finished! My strict mom turned my pool into a library? Who does that? Oh man, this is not what I wanted to do with my day. I am so bummed out. I was really looking forward to doing some swimming today. And it's not like I can go to the water park in town. They're closed for repairs. But if I'm not gonna go swimming, then there's no point in wearing this adorable pool floaty. But how do I exactly get out of here? Do I have to like parkour? Oh, uh, apparently. All right. Brittany, how's the reading coming along? Good, I was uh, just going upstairs to put on a sweater. Yeah, it's cold out there. Good, I don't want you catching a cold. Now hurry up, time's wasting. Yes, mom. You know what? I had an idea when I was doing my quick outfit change. Let me see something really, really fast. I hope I still have them, I hope I still have them. Yes! Okay, I still have perms to the house. Which I was thinking, what if I just build a tiny water park underneath my house? That way I can still have fun and my strict mom will never, never, ever guess that I would do such a thing. Now, first things first though, I have to get my mom out of the house and I don't really know how to do that. She's kind of a homebody. Oh, Brittany! What are you doing? You should be out in the pool library reading. Yeah, um, I actually had something to tell you. Yes, are you enjoying all the novels? Well, you see, I would be, but I'm missing a few books. Missing? What do you mean, missing? I would never forget anything. That's true, Mom. I really don't know how this happened. Okay, what is it? Looks like everything is here. Well, you see, I don't have the world encyclopedias from 1873. You know, versions A through Z. <gasps> oh, my pineapples. How could I forget? Stupid Cheryl, get your head in the game. I'll be right back. Okay, awesome. Well, my mom goes to buy those books that I don't even know if they exist. It's time to hop into build mode. All right, now I have to find the exact perfect spot for this tiny underground water park that my mom will never, ever, ever find. I think in order to pull this off, I have to have an area that can also go underground into like a secret basement. I'm thinking over here. Like this little room seems perfect. We can have an outdoor entrance here and then open this part up to the underground. And that is where we'll build the water park. So let's start it. And we'll open this part here. We'll hop down a level. So let's get this layout going, shall we? Okay, so far so good. Okay, awesome. So we have like the basic shape. <laughs> so let's build some walls, shall we? Perfect, okay, we have our walls all good to go. And now I should probably map out like where everything is gonna be. Pop up one level and this will be our entrance. So we wanna make sure we have plenty of room. So right here will probably be like our first little pool area. So I'm gonna take out some plain markings to kind of like help tape off exactly where we're gonna go. This will be like our first pool entrance situation and our main pool and we'll do a concession stand over here and then for our little locker room now let's add the walls for those so let's put down the floor so i really want to do kind of like an indoor outdoor vibe so there's gonna be a lot of grass i'll extend the little patio area because i'll probably want to put like a cabana in some like fun little vip area so for this, let's do stone. And let's put the grass down. Ah, no, I painted the wall, wrong. But speaking of which, we do need to paint the walls and I'm going to do a light blue like the sky. So that way we feel like we're outside even though we're underground. And I'm gonna give it the ice texture because I feel like that just looks really, really cool. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the pools. <gasps> so excited. Okay, so we're just gonna do classic swimming pool size. Now, we are talking about a secret entrance. So, let's hop up and add our secret door. Perfect. And the super awesome entrance all the way down to the water park is going to be a water park. Because what a better way to go into a water park than through a water slide, am I right? Oh boy. I think I have to adjust the pool, y'all. Because uh, right now, it looks like you will slide down this and then go right into a wall and out. So let's try it again, shall we? Smile, loser. Oh no, my sister Brenda. You're gonna be in big trouble now. What 
us with the camera. Well, you know our strict mom hates when we go into build mode, so consider this leverage into getting a higher allowance. Brenda, please, can we talk about this? I don't think so. Wait, Brenda, no! Wait up, no, 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 please don't do this, no! No, no! Brenda, open the door, please, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> You're dead me. If my strict mom finds out that I was in build mode without her permission, I'm totally gonna be grounded until I'm like 54. Oh goody, mom's home. Time to show her the pictures. No! Brenda, wait, 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 wait! Brittany, I got those books for you! What a beautiful sight, all these books. Having fun is so stupid. Wait, wait, Brenda, Brenda, I'll give you 100 bucks for that camera. 150. 150? Mom! Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, fine, fine. There. Are you happy? It's all yours. See, it wasn't too hard. Okay, now I definitely have to hide this camera from my strict mom. She'll be so mad. Mom! Is that a camera? You know the rules. What the? How did you? I thought you were downstairs. You were taking too long to come check out all the encyclopedias. I'm in so much trouble if she turns on that camera and looks at the picture of me building. That is it. You know the rules. Camera means pictures. Pictures mean Instagram. And Instagram means fun. I hate it. Oh my gosh, mom. Now your encyclopedias are downstairs in the kitchen. You better have volume one finished in 30 minutes. Then I'm going to quiz you. Cause I don't want stupid kids unlike the Jensen's across the street. Now get to work. My mom smashed the camera, so now I literally gave my sister 150 bucks for no reason. I gotta be careful. I need to follow my strict mom's rules, so that way she has no idea what I'm up to. And oh my, pineapples! Look at all these books. Looks like this one's volume one, and it's over a thousand pages. There is no way I'm reading that in 30 minutes. I wonder if I can Google what happened. Emergency family meeting at once. Now, girls, thank you for joining me. Here's a friendly reminder of the house rules. Since the two of you haven't really been following them lately. No, Mom, I totally have been. Well, let me read them again to you. Rule number one, no friends. Two, no complaining. Three, always do your chores. Four, no gaming. Five, no dancing, no laughing, no happiness. Now, Brenda, after reviewing these, believe you have been the only daughter following my rules. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Whatever, Brenda. And as a thank you, I am treating you to a day at the Please spa, please say spa, please say spa. National Museum of Bugs and Rodents. It is going to be spectacular. Oh, um, on second thought, Mom, I actually broke all the rules on the list. Bummer. <laughs> Looks like I can't go. And Brittany, you stay here and alphabetize the entire fridge. Let's go, Brenda. The museum awaits. Well, I, I really don't want to go. Is that complaining? Oh, man. This works out perfect. I can get back to working on my water park. Back to build mode. All right, so I adjusted the pool. So we shouldn't be falling right into the wall, which is awesome. But before I get too carried away, I have to finish that slide. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. You know what? I have an idea. Now to work on that entrance. So we obviously have to change the slide to a pink. I love it, guys. This is awesome. Ooh, and I'm going to put like a little secret button. So that way it's like basically a doorbell. And we'll hide it with some ivy. We'll do some tile. So back to the downstairs. And it is time to put out the cabana. I love it. And over here, we are going to put some lounge chairs. And I'm gonna add a hammock over here. Nothing says relaxing quite like a hammock, right? Let's put the cabana chairs in too for the little VIP area. I have a feeling my best friend Sophie and I are gonna be hanging out here all of the time. So that looks good, but what's a pool without pool floats? Not a pool if you ask me. So, wait, no. I can't place any of the pool floats down here, but there's a pool. You see that, right? Seriously, people, you're probably so mad, but all I want to do is just put a nice little... <gasps> Wait, I deleted the basement, but now I can put in the 
pool float? <gasps> is this like a hack I didn't know about? Like, y'all, I'm not even kidding. This is so cool and wicked convenient. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to add the pool float. We need that unicorn float in there. And I'm gonna try to re-add the basement and hopefully that doesn't get rid of the float. If I just found this hack out, I'm like gonna lose my mind. It works. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh no, I hear classical music bumping in a car. It's my mom. I gotta get out of build mode fast. Run to the fridge, Brett, run to the fridge. Act normal. Oh my gosh, that was traumatizing. I'm gonna go up to my room and cleanse my brain with some keeping up with the Kardashians. I mean, um, the Discovery Channel, mother. Have you learned your lesson, Brittany? I bet you're jealous you didn't get to go to the museum and learn all about arthropods. I totally learned my lesson. Fun equals bad. Music to my ears. Now, if you keep this up, I'll treat you to the National Museum of Bugs and Rodents. I have to go journal about it. Yay, pretty me. <laughs> okay, didn't get as far on my water park as I wanted to. So that means, guys, I have to find another way to get my mom out of the house again. This is gonna be hard. Brittany, your piano practice sounds wonderful. Now, here is a homework assignment I made you while you're out of school. Wait, what? This is the biggest homework assignment I've ever had. You want me to write a 75 page paper? No, what's crazy is this should be the standard for the schools around here. Maybe I should homeschool you instead. Oh, um, you know what? Don't say a word because Actually, that's a great idea. Brenda, come down here and get in the car. <gasps> Homeschool. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not again. I'm out of here. Hey, you brat. You ruined my petunias. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the sun is indeed very hot. I can't believe this is happening, guys. Wait, perfect. She's here. I hope this works. Mom? It's Mrs. Mom when I'm teaching. Mrs. Mom, can I please use the restroom? I'll allow it. You have two minutes. Thanks. Okay, I gotta hurry. Bestie, are you here? Bestie! I got here as soon as I could. Thanks, girly. I really owe you one. Now, where are they? In the bathroom. I left it in a Target bag. Perfect. All right, girly. Oh my gosh. Bestie! You look amazing. Yes, girly, I look just like you. Do you really think this will work? I don't know. I'm kind of counting on it. Well, wish me luck. Operation Undercover Brittany is a go! Oh goodness, you're back. Now on to why I think Earth should not be considered a planet. Fact number one! Oh boy. Brittany really does owe me for this. This should buy me plenty of time. There is no way my mom is going to notice that Sophie is actually Sophie and not me. We have to focus. Now we have pretty much a good layout going for the pool area. So now let's go on to the locker room. So let's do some tile floor and let's do marble. Awesome. And the walls will be this fossil gray. Now we need a little locker room door. I'm kind of thinking like a frosted glass would be cool. I love it. That looks so good. Now we got to add our lockers. Nice. And let's go with maybe this one right here. So that way we have some storage. But maybe we'll do like a dark marble. <gasps> yes, I love it. I think I'm gonna do these over here, pink. These in the middle will be blue. And these over here are going to be a light green. Sage green, love it. Now, before I get too carried away, we need a bathroom stall. So we'll throw that there. And then this will be like a shower stall, which I think I'm just gonna do like a classic door. Nothing too crazy. So on to the toilet. And we have our little toilet there with most importantly, some toilet paper. I think I'll just do this like skylight. Awesome. And I'll put one in the shower area too. I think I'm going to make it marble to match the floor. Let's put in this shower. Awesome. And I'm going to add a little inlet, like cutout wall cutout thingy. We're gonna add a shampoo bottle, a conditioner bottle, and some soap. And I'm gonna color that brick as well. Love it. Okay, cool. Definitely am going to put some hooks for towels out here. And oh my gosh, we need some mirrors. 
I will come back and add some more finishing touches before the great reveal, but we are on to the concession stand. This will be a plain subway tile, but we will add a wall here, kind of a little division area. So now to counters, and I want it to be like an island vibe. So we are going to do uh, maybe just like a classic shaker island. In the concession stand, we need appliances. And for those appliances, we for sure need like a soda machine and a regular fridge too, so that way we can have snacks. I'm going to also put like a flat, like kind of like grill cooktop situation. Now the rest of the space is going to be counters. Some chairs, I'm gonna put some bar stools, but we have to change the color, obviously, to pink. Love it. And we have to change these counters because they are Nasty. Marble. Here we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can put like a legit kind of like cabana tent over. Oh my god. Yes, I love it. I'm obsessed. I really actually really, really like this a lot. Now onto the important things like the smoothies. Okay, do I get rid of the grill and put a soda fountain? I think the answer is yes. We're gonna put this here. And I'm gonna put a barbecue grill, yes! I love it. Okay, that might be way too close to the water. <laughs> Let's push it a little bit over here. <gasps> yes, okay, living for this. This looks so good. Popcorn, yep. We need a register. I feel like you need cotton candy, right? <laughs> we'll add some fresh fruit for the smoothies. I need to add a custom decal. That way we can have like a menu of what we're serving at the concession stand. I'm like so close to being done. I mean, kind of not at the same time. There's still a lot to do here. <coughs> Excuse me. No, 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 say it ain't so, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't believe you. Back at it again in build mode. Brenda, how do you literally always happen to just appear out of nowhere? Look, I think it's time you let me in on whatever it is you're doing. I know it's probably stupid anyways. Well, why should I? Because I'm pretty, duh. And also, I won't tell mom if you tell me what you're doing. Wait, really? Really, sister? Pinky swear. Now what is it? Okay, oh my gosh. I've been really, really excited to tell everyone about it, but I am building a tiny underground water park. Oh my gosh, what? <gasps> I want VIP treatment. You better give it to me. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't see why not. No, I'm not done yet, but I can text you when I am. You've got yourself a deal. But give me 50 bucks. What? No! Why do you want 50 bucks? I need a new swimsuit. Duh! Now, do you want me to keep this a secret or not? Fine. I'll give you 50 bucks. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. To the mall! Last stop, City Hall. Now, I need to make sure they got my 2 p.m. curfew proposal. Brittany, are you coming? Yeah! So, Britt's mom, I mean, um, my mom. What do you think of Britt's bestie? I mean, my bestie, Sophie. I've been dying to know. That girl? Oh, she's so loud. And those awful karate things? Such a disgrace. What? I'm not loud. I'm not loud. I'm not loud. I'm not loud. Wait a second. You're not my daughter, Sophie. You saw nothing. Sophie, no. That's my car. Honestly, guys, I'm really impressed that my mom hasn't figured out that Sophie is actually me. I should do this more often. Wait, oh my gosh, guys, do you think I should switch lives with Sophie one day? But we have to finish some very, very super important finishing touches, like go with white on these chairs here. And I'm gonna add a table. On the table, I am going to add some roses. I do for sure need some umbrellas. And I'm gonna add a little like kind of faux garden area with Fancy rock. I've gotten so ahead of myself that I didn't even think about the fact that we're gonna need an exit. I don't know, something simple like a set of stairs, like a ladder kind of thing that we can just like sneak up. So we'll put our ladder there and then we'll pop up a little basement there. And the classic age old carpet trick to cover <laughs> a secret floor area. So we have our exit, that's important. Oh, I also need to like 
add, I don't know, do I have like fountains in my inventory? <gasps> I do. Sprayers, that's what they call them. Okay, okay, I feel like I've let you guys in on a good amount of this surprise, but there are a few things I wanna add off camera so that way when we do the water park tour and it's open for business, you two could be so excited. <gasps> Wish me luck. Guys, I'm so excited. I just wrapped up on my water park and invited some of my followers to come and join me. So, are you guys excited for the water park? Oh my gosh, so excited! Yeah, I can't wait! Hurry up, it's freezing out of here! Well, welcome! Come on down! Woo! This is awesome! Now feel free, make yourself at home, and have fun! So guys, I added a few cool slides, like this one over here. This is amazing and so much fun, and I'm so glad I could open it up to some of my friends and followers. Now I think I'm gonna make some hamburgers for everyone. Patsy! Patsy! Oh my gosh, <gasps> the water park's packed, but there you are! Hey, girly! So, I'm so glad you could make it. Girl, me too! This place looks awesome! Thanks! Oh wait, if you're here, then where's my strict mom? What? are in big trouble, Brittany. All the stunts you pulled today is unacceptable. But mom, all I wanted was to have fun. You're so strict and you never let us have a good time. That's because fun leads to distractions and distractions make you a failure at life. You know that's not true. Yeah, Brits mom, look at me. I am the epitome of fun and I ain't no loser. Mm -hmm. I know karate. Well, mom, come on. Look around, everyone's having fun. Something you never do. You're, you're right, I mean, I guess this is kind of cool. Kind of cool? Come on, Mrs. Blaze, kick back and relax a bit. I can make you a pineapple smoothie. Oh, a smoothie. You know what, you girls are right. I'm gonna go get changed, don't go anywhere. Well, looks like my strict mom's not so mad after all. Yeah, but you're gonna be mad after I beat you in a floaty race. Not fair, I want the hot dog float. Today in Bloxburg, I came across a really cool water park. But then I noticed it was for rich people only, and I saw the park manager kicking people out for being poor. I thought this was crazy, so I had to go check it out. What is going on? Whoa, Rich Rachel said, excuse me, what are you doing? Can't you see this water park is for rich people only? Wait, what the heck? I thought you were just kidding. So I gotta ask this lady, rich people only? You can't be serious. I mean, it's a water park. Oh gosh. And then she's shouting, can't you read the sign? Well, yeah, that sign's massive and I can definitely read, but I don't understand. What is your deal, lady? It's summer vacation and I wanted to have a fun day. Oh, oh, and rich Rachel screaming rich people only. Whoa. Okay, she definitely means business. I'm gonna ask her, can I please come in? Oh boy. She says you're too poor to understand, I guess. Goodbye. What the? Hey! Did rich Rachel just kick me off the property? What the heck? You know what, people? No one kicks me out and gets away with it. I'm sneaking back in. Whoa, this place is actually really cool. Ah! Oh no, she's back. I thought I told you, get out, you poor loser. That's not very nice. Ah, whoa, oh, okay, okay, Jeez, Louise. I guess she really wants me out of here. This lady is crazy. What is her problem? Well, maybe I'll just melt in the heat and not go to a water park today. Hold on, what do we have going on here? This kid's shouting, but mom? And then his mom, Rose McLaren, says, no buts, I said no? You're gonna make me look like a poor loser, Royce said? Fine then, you can walk home? Oh, I look sad. Hey, dude, is everything okay? <gasps> oh, he's crying. Oh no. No, my mom's a meanie pants and won't take me to the rich only water park. And it's all I wanted for my birthday. I want to go. <gasps> oh my gosh, that stinks. Man, I'm sorry, bro. Let's see if I can help sneak you in. Thanks, lady. No prob. And by the way, happy birthday, dude. All right. All we need to do is just to wait until that gate opens and then we make a run for it. <laughs> yes, come on, let's go, let's go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> We're in. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, everything is made of gold. This is unbelievable. Oh, no. <gasps> it's Rich Rachel. 
Wait, just a minute. Here's your entrance fee. Oh no. Wait, Roy says here? That's my college savings? Oh, well, I guess that made Rich Rachel happy. She said, thanks, kid. Oh, honestly, I can't believe you did that. Your whole college savings? That's a lot of money. Roy says, whatever. You're annoying and too poor to hang out with me. See ya. Jeez, oh, these rich people are kind of rude. Well, okay, looks like I'm on my own and I might as well explore the water park until someone finds out I'm not mega rich. Oh my gosh, oh, a gold fountain spring liquid gold. Oh, I love it here, I love it. Whoa, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Millionaire Meg says, OMG, so sorry. No, totally my fault. Are you okay? I'm glad she didn't spill her lemonade. I'm sure that's probably like a bajillion dollars a glass. Millionaire Meg says, oh, I'm fantastic. Guys, she's really nice. Isn't this place amazing? Oh, uh, yeah, you could say that again. It's beyond. Loki, real expensive, but I don't think she cares about money because she literally has diamonds floating around her brain. Hey, wait a second. I've never seen you here before. No, they're on to me. What do I say? What do I say? I'm new in town. Yeah, and that's right. That's probably why you've never seen me. Oh, bad lying to her. She's wicked nice. She's like, oh, cool. So are your parents millionaires or trillionaires? Uh, trillionaires. Millionaire Meg bought it because she said, well, that's cool. Yeah, money and things. Now she's asking, do you wanna go down the water slides together? Oh my gosh, of course! Where should we start? This one over here! What about this one? It's like the tallest golden water slide I've ever seen. Are you ready? She says, of course. Wait, what is this? Member fee here? Uh, I'm gonna ask her, do you have to pay to go down the slide? That kind of seems like a ripoff, right? I mean, you paid to get into the park. Isn't it like all included? Uh, yeah, of course you have to pay. Surprised you didn't know that. Oops, uh, I forgot. Yeah, you know, I was too busy counting all my money and, and stuff. Oh wait, of course you didn't know? You're new? <sighs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Carol, let me pay for you since you're new here. <gasps> Aw, thanks. Oh, don't worry, you can pay me back. Um. Yeah, totally. Let's go up down the slide. <laughs> Last one to the bottom's a rotten egg. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was everything. But I'm gonna ask Millionaire Meg, why is everything here so expensive? I mean, you already pay to get in. She goes, it's not expensive, it's exclusive. Can't just be a poor person and <laughs> hang out here. What do these rich people have against normal people? Yes, you're right. But that slide took a lot out of me, so I'm gonna just take a seat real quick and rest my legs. Oh, hold on. She says, wait, don't forget the sitting fee? There's a sitting fee? Well, I don't have that money. Charges to sit down. Whoa, oh, <laughs> uh, hello. This big lady's a security guard. Bernadette, that's it? No money, no water park? But wait, nope. Oh man, the buff lady's mad. Ah! Hey, put me down. Oh, Meg's sticking up for me. She says, hey, don't kick her out. Please put me down. What was that? Do you want to be kicked out too, Porzy? <gasps> Excuse me, I'm not poor. Oh, oh, the big lady's laughing. Then shut it unless you wanna pay the security fee? No, Meg, you don't have to pay that. That's crazy. Huh? I'm still kicking her out anyways. Bernadette, ma'am. Nope, nope, ma'am, ma'am. Just put me down, come on. Hey, what the heck? Bernadette, let me go. Okay, so I'm definitely not rich enough to be at that rich person only water park, so I'm gonna go to the water park that's open for everyone, Water World. And I used to come here all the time when I was a little kid and I, uh, oh, it definitely was a lot nicer when I was a kid, but that's okay. It looks, it can be deceiving. Let's go see, hello there, howdy. Lost Timmy says, hey, welcome to Water World. That'll be $5. Whoa, $5? Okay, I cannot be upset with that. There you go. Thank you, enjoy your time. Guys, I'm so excited, Waterworld here! I oh, 
Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Who the heck? There's no water in the pool? And there's barely any water in the blow-up pool? What the heck is this place? Ew, and like a million-year-old pizza. Oh. Oh, just keep exploring it. Ah! Was that a rat? No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. There was a rat. There totally was a rat. What the heck? Oh, the rat can't get me from up here. Oh, oh, gosh. Sir, I think there was a rat. Oh, let me guess you want your money back? Honestly, I feel awful, but dude, this is not a real water park. What is going on here? It's terrifying. Tell me about it. We all went downhill when our water was stolen and the bills got too expensive. Terrible. Who would do that? That makes no sense. It was by the rich people only water park. Seriously? That is so not fair. Why would they steal from you? That's not fair. Yeah? Well, like my mom always told me, life isn't fair. Oh, jeez Louise, people, this guy's so sad. This place used to be so great. Lost Timmy's telling me, don't blame me. The rich people only water park put me out of business. If you're mad, talk to them. It's their fault. All things change with time, kid. I want to do something about this. What they are doing is totally wrong and not okay. There's no reason they should put you out of business. There's plenty of room in this town for two water parks. Cause you're right, I know there's no way they're only stealing just from me. Wait, what do you mean by that? I'm a fifth generation water park owner. To run a park that big, they need big bucks. So they have to be stealing from someone else. They're definitely up to something. You're right, that place is shady. I will get to the bottom of this. Trust me, I'll help you. Okay, so maybe I can't come here for fun, but I could see if they're hiring. Hello? Whoa, it's her. Can I help you? I'm looking for a job. You hiring? Okay. Is that a yes? Oh, Bernadette says you're not rich. You can't work here? What? Oh, oh wait, I see my friend over there. Millionaire Meg, hey. Oh, hey Britt, she can help me. Can you please tell this nice lady that I'm rich? Please, 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 please. Oh yeah, she's a trillionaire? Yes, thanks Meg. And Bernadette goes, hmm, hmm, well, okay, fine. You can have a job, I guess. Yes, thanks. Yippee, good luck girl. Oh, have fun. Big Bernadette says, follow me. <laughs> Sounds good. This place is cool. Is this usually where you get to hang out all day? Enough talking. Whoa. whoa. Oh, sorry. I'll zip my lips. This ain't a walk in the park. There's a lot of training you have to do before you're great like me. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, Bernadette. I'm a fast learner and I'm excited. I did. Well, she's not too friendly, Ugh, whatever. The boss lady will be in shortly. Oh! <gasps> Wait, that mean lady is actually the boss? Here's the new hire, ma'am. <gasps> and Rich Rachel goes, you look familiar. I get that a lot. Rich Rachel says, well, you might be good for the job. Yes, well, of course. Are you sure you're rich? Um, gosh, all this lying is getting really tiring. One of our members said she's a trillionaire. Oh, perfect then. Okay, she believes me. We'll start your training tomorrow. Make sure to bring some cash. Cash? Don't you think that's a little weird? Bernadette, show our new employee out. Move it, rookie. Oh, jeez, yeah, oh, okay. I'll see you later, Bernadette. Bye! Why do I have to bring money to my new job tomorrow? All right, I have my little uniform on. I think I'm ready to go to work. Whoa, um, what is this? Hello, Mr. Man says, hello, miss. I'll be taking you to work today. Really? Did the water park send you? That's right. Whoa, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. I was gonna ride my bike, but this sounds awesome. <laughs> that will be $100. I have to pay you? And if work hired you, shouldn't they be the ones paying you? Oh, Mr. Man is angry. He says, are you gonna pay or what? I guess so, here you go. Much obliged. Now hurry it up. I don't have all day. Okay, bro. Don't get so mad. Oh, great. We're here. Perfect. Get out. What, 
Okay. Have a wonderful day. Kind of a jerk. Hello, Bernadette. Here for my first day. Whoa. Oh, there's the manager. Good. I've been waiting for you. Good morning. <laughs> Beautiful day, huh? Oh, yep. Uh-huh. Sure. Well, I'm excited for my first official day. Listen here, kid. You need to spend money to make money. What? Hello, pay up? Jeez. There you go. Rachel says, great. Now write this way. Right? Wh wait, is that gold on the table? Are those gold bars? Um, yeah, you seem surprised. Kind of. That, that, that's just crazy to me. You're absolutely sure you're rich? Um, let's play it off, let's play it off. I thought that there would be more gold here. Yeah, because uh, obviously, there's not enough. Gosh, I'm so bad at lying. That's a better answer. Now the most important thing, demanding money from our water park club members. Make sure they pay up. She says, if you see them doing anything you can charge for, charge them? Hold on, but isn't that all a part of the fee? Nope. Where the heck does the fee go? Don't worry about it. You can just bring the money to the cashier room. That's your job. Now here, go over to that woman and charge her for using our exclusive sunlight. Are, are you sure? What? Oh, oh gosh. Yep, she's sure, because now she's screaming, get to work. You got it, boss. Okay, so this shouldn't be hard. I just gotta go yell at someone for using sunlight. And um, oh, that guy over there. He looks like he's got a lot of money. Excuse me, uh, hello, sir. Are you using our sun today? What's the damage, buddy? That'll be five thousand dollars. Five thousand, what a bargain. Wait, seriously? Okay, well, thank you. Enjoy your day. <laughs> All right, and now to give money to the lady. Oh, got the money. Now what? Follow me, okay? Oh, yes. Employees only. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. All right. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, is this the cashier's room? Now give your money to the trusty cashier, Zelda. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Whoa. Okay. She says, hello, I'm waiting. There you go. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. So uh, how long have you been working here, Zelda? Do you have any kids or are you married? I have a dog, her name's Comey, she's so cute. Looks like she's not in the mood to talk either. Cool, hold on, what's this back here? Is this a secret? What do you think you're doing? Um, well, I'm just, just nothing? You're too poor to be in here, scram? Oh, okay, she's real mad. I'm just gonna get out of here, she's, Totally hiding a secret or something behind that door. I gotta get behind there. Wait for another. Hello, boss. Happy Thursday. You wanted to see me? Good morning. Rich Rachel, the manager, says, All right, it's payday. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited for my first paycheck. Now pay me $5,000. What? Uh, I thought it was. Day. You pay me? Hello? I'm waiting? Jeez. Okay, lady. Well, there you go. Take all the money I earned working for you. Yay. Oh, thank you. And she ran off. But now it's time I make a distraction for the cashier. I gotta get her out of there and I gotta go into that secret room. I have an idea. Oh, hey, do you happen to have a green moped? So sorry to bother you. I know you're like wicked busy. Yeah, Leon, <laughs> what about him? She named her moped Leon. No need to freak you out, but I saw them towing Leon. So you uh, might wanna go upstairs and stop them. What the, not Leon, I'm coming? Yes, perfect, wait, oh, it's locked. He's in my boss's office. All right, Rich Rachel, if I were a set of keys behind this fancy light. Uh-oh, Rich Rachel's back. You, what the heck are you still doing here? I am so sorry. I was just looking for, get out, get out now. Um, oh jeez. Uh-oh, oh no. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Okay, so 
I decided that I'm gonna sneak into the water park as a fancier, rich looking lady. Hopefully no one catches me. All right, here I am, Miss Fancy Pants, about to solve the secrets. Now to put away my fancy shoes and my fancy locker and, oh, shoot, it's Millionaire Meg. I'm just gonna say howdy. Hopefully she doesn't recognize me. Okay, well, she 100% recognized me because straight off the bat, she goes, uh, Brit, that's quite the outfit. Look, I need your help. What on earth are you doing? Well, I think it's time I come clean. I got kicked out, so I'm sneaking back in. Kicked out? Yeah, I know, kind of embarrassing, huh? Oh, so this is you trying to look rich? You throwing shade, girl? Yeah, yeah, but pretty, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I look fab, don't I? <laughs> you look like something, all right. Hey, I'm trying here. Okay. You're gonna need a better disguise than that. Let me help you. Okay, thanks. Oh my goodness, this is your house? This place is amazing. Oh, she goes, one of them? Well, if you me, Miss Rich Pants. Here, follow me. All right. Oh my gosh, this place is epic. Whoa, <gasps> your bedroom. I love it here. Honestly, I kind of wanna move in. Aw, thanks. I'm just a billionaire though, so your room must be way cooler. Shoot, that's right, I told her I was a trillionaire. Yeah, we can chat about that later. Gonna have to come clean, cause you cannot lie to your friends and Millionaire Meg is helping me out, so I gotta be truthful with her. But anyway, back to the disguise. Here, try this on. Okay, um, how do I look? Ta-da! Oh, Millionaire Meg says me. She goes, slay queen, you look mega rich. <laughs> yeah, girl, all thanks to you. I think this is <laughs> Now come on, let's get back into the rich people only water park. Good idea. Let's go. Oh, <gasps> Sparta Dad. Good day, rich folks. Millionaire Meg goes, hello. Hi, lovely day. Right through here, enjoy. Thank you, Miss Bernadette. Yes, this is working perfectly. She says, now good luck, and whatever you do, just act rich. Sounds good. Thanks for your help, I'll be back. And all this rich stuff is really uncomfortable. This bow is like crazy itchy. Wait, perfect. Doesn't look like Zelda's in yet today. Here we go. Yes, the secret door is open. Yes, yes, yes. What the heck, what is this room? It's filled with tons of money and rich things? This is right below the locker room upstairs. So these funnels are stealing all of the people's things. <gasps> this is crazy, I gotta go tell Meg. Meg, Meg, girl, did you find anything? Sure did. You have to come with me. Right this way, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, hey, my necklace. This makes so much sense. Wait. Why? I'll tell you what I know. Bill the tea. We saw the water park owner kicking out members for being too poor and not having enough money anymore. So she is stealing their money and then kicking them out once they've been scammed? She is crazy. Talk about a jerk, right? Yeah. We have to find a way to stop this. We have to stop her. But how? She is really rich? I think I have an idea. It's time to steal even more money. Get it, Bernadette. I'm on it. These rich people don't know what's coming to them. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What's going on? Lady, you're a scammer and you're under arrest? <laughs> no, you have the wrong gal. Don't listen to her. Officer Strix says, nice try. <laughs> you thought you could pull one over on him. Yeah, right. Bernadette says, well, I'm out of here. She's abandoning her. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh no, which Rachel's freaking out. <laughs> Looks like you're in trouble. That's what you think? Look around? Ah, where? Wait, no, officer, officer, she's getting away. What do we do now? Officer Strix says, Looks like you own it now. Get back here, lady. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay then, looks like I own a water park now. Well, first things first, under my new rule, this water park's for everyone. So we're getting rid of this stupid rich people only water park sign. Goodbye. What's up everyone, I am back 
enjoying another gorgeous day here in the lovely Blocksburg. And no, I am not going to work again today. Uh, we're gonna have to tell my boss that I'm busy. I'm doing other things. But I have been driving around the neighborhoods and I have to say, these builds are so, ooh, ooh, well, that build was super, super cool. And same with this one over here. I mean, there are so many cool things happening in Blocksburg and I'm kind of thinking to myself that like, I might have to step up my game a little bit and I, I don't know, maybe make a really cool renovation to my house, but I don't exactly know what I wanna do. So let's cruise back over to my home and kind of see, you know, what we can think of. Maybe on the way, we can uh, be struck with some inspiration. You know, at first I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll go crazy and buy like a wild cactus or or have a roommate or something but I don't know if I'm ready just yet and I'm also not really uh, having a, a good day driving thank goodness I have insurance on this car because with all the things I hit I kind of need it but all right let's cruise back to my neighborhood and hmm let's see any more cool builds out here I want to see if there's anyone I can give a cool shout out to so we got Ooh, this over here that looks super cool with that gate and then this one ooh, I'm liking that like sunroom in the front and then Remy oh she's having like a bake sale oh that's super cute okay but anyway whoop ooh, ooh, she's like cats over there or like a, just a cool cat poster all right so let's go back to my house doo, doo, doo. all right all right we're cruising we're moving we're grooving we're driving like a crazy person that's okay that that just you know that happens sometimes here we are back at the house ah home sweet home yeah i just don't know what to do i mean my kitchen is pretty cool dining room it's a dining room so you can't get more wild than that but it is summertime and i got rid of my pool recently because i was kind of uh, over it but how about we make another tiny house and make it even cooler? We'll keep with like the summertime theme and we will build a tiny house underwater. I'm super, super excited. I think this is one of the best ideas I've ever had. Shane's always saying that I'm coming up with crazy expensive ideas to do all the time. And uh, this is definitely gonna be one of them, but I'm super, super excited. So let's get building. All right, so we are now in build mode. And of course a cool pool has to go in the backyard, right? I mean, I'm not at that level in Blocksburg yet that I can have like a super cool pool in the front of my house because uh, yeah, I, I didn't really leave much room if you can tell. Yeah, there's like two blocks. So <laughs> looks like I am not gonna be building anything there anytime soon, unless I get a new house, which hopefully that could be coming soon. I've been saving my money. But anyway, back to the mission. We are gonna build our underground secret tiny house in the pool. All right, so obviously we need a pool first. Uh, I like an L-shaped pool. Those are always fun. So we are gonna do that guy. Whew. Building pools are definitely expensive, but so worth it. I love swimming and I love the summertime and you know, it's just, it's fun to do. So we are gonna do a little like passage here and then we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. I think, well, if it's gonna be a tiny house, uh, maybe, yeah, that looks about right. We need to go back here and fill in the floor because if it's gonna be like a secret underground tiny house underwater, which that seems really confusing and you definitely can't say that like five times fast. But anyway, <laughs> we need to cover the floor so that we know, but I knows what is under here. All right, so now we need to color it, make it look like some grass, some material, we want grass, boop. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good already. You can't even tell that there's anything there, right? I mean, unless you go down a level. <laughs> and you can see my tiny house area. Ooh, super, super excited. Okay, so let's get to building. Mm, a wall, yeah. I mean, we need walls if we're gonna be living in this house, right? Oh, it's really dark. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna add a light because I can't see a thing. Oh, seriously? 
My car is towed again. If I had a subscriber for every time my car got towed in a video, I would have like a million subscribers already. Which, speaking of, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do it and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything that I upload. We need light, people. Let there be light. All right, cool. So I can kind of see a little bit better as to where I'm building my walls in the pool. Got another one here and all the way to there. And then I will need a little like entryway. So let's connect right there. Awesome. All right, so on to a door for my tiny house inside the pool. That looks cool. All right, so we got our doorway in there. Oh, we need a floor. What am I thinking? Maybe I can trick Shane into coming over thinking we're gonna hang out, but then I'm just gonna be hiding in my pool. Uh, that'd be funny. Or, oh, no, you know what? I should like throw a party and invite people over. Cause I mean, I haven't really done that yet. I, I haven't had like a, a housewarming party. Okay, so before we go any further, I kinda wanna disguise this a little bit. So we're gonna just add some classic pool items. You know, like a, a ladder. So people think, you know, nothing to see here. Just a regular old pool. Awesome, a little diving board. And then we need a beach ball because every good beach party and pool party has a beach ball. Awesome. So back to my underwater house. So let's paint the walls, shall we? What color are we thinking? I think we should kind of stick with like an underground theme, don't you? We can kind of do, yeah, oh, that looks perfect. That actually kind of looks like water rippling and I, I'm here for it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's paint the walls. Super, super excited. And I'm gonna paint out here too. Yeah, cause that looks good. You could definitely tell like there's a little cave under here, but you don't really know like why or what's going on. All right, so let me kind of build a little bit more and you can check in with me in a few minutes once I have like the groundwork all set. Whew. All right, so just putting on a few of my finishing touches here. Hmm, you can't really have a party without a TV. So let's throw this guy here. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And of course, I mean, how could I forget? A disco ball, yes. We need like a million disco balls, three disco balls because we are throwing a party and it's gonna be super, super fun. Okay, but before I ruin the surprise, let me hop out of build mode so I can show you guys what I built. I'm so excited. I've always wanted like a cool little secret hangout and what a better thing than an underground little tiny house. All right, so here we go. You know, we're just swimming, minding our own business in the pool, you know, relaxing, chilling. But why relax like a regular person in a pool when you could go under here and enter like my super cool party layer? I am loving it. Okay, it's kind of making me a little dizzy uh, floating around here. Whew. So we are gonna take a seat and look, oh, oh my gosh, my friend Cookie Girl is here, yay. I'm super excited that she came and like found my pool. <laughs> All right, uh, as you can see, there was pizza, and I'm sorry guys, I, I was kinda hungry while I was building, so uh, I, I had to eat it. So let me throw a party. I'm gonna go ooh, out of the pool for a second. Ooh, my bills are due. Oh gosh, well good thing I'm going to the mailbox to pay my bills. Don't want any of those lights turned off, and we are going to throw a party. Everyone, come to my party. Anybody here in the cafe want to come to my party? A anybody? Well, this isn't how planning a party is supposed to be. Well, maybe I'll wait a minute. Oh, someone in a gold Jeep is rolling up. And another girl too. Hey, are you guys coming to my party? No? Oh, I'm gonna boost my mood so uh, I'm not so sad, e even though I'm a little bummed out that no one wants to come over. I mean, uh, wouldn't you want to come hang out here? It's awesome. And we could sit and watch TV underwater and defy physics, which <laughs> means underwater and uh, electricity don't, don't go well. But hey, we're in Blocksburg and anything goes. <laughs> Blocksburg is a wild world. All right, it looks like uh, no one else except for Cookie Girl is coming to my party. Hmm, well, uh, maybe luck next time. <laughs> I, I 
I guess, you know, I'll call it quits for tonight. Maybe I'll go to work like Bloxburg wants me to. I don't want to. I don't know. Well, guys, I mean, maybe I'll throw a party another time. I guess, you know, I'll just work on renovating my house. But thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a great day. I'm so glad we met on Roblox. I love you so much, even though we only met online. We're going to be together forever. Oh, no. Online daters? I got to get away. You're the best online girlfriend. And you're the best online boyfriend. Let's get married. Ah! Where did all these online daters come from? I just don't get it. There are literally online daters everywhere you look now on Roblox. Brenda, you won't believe it. Shut up, Brit. I'm talking to my online boyfriend. So yeah, babe, there's a new Gucci bag I really want. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. You too? Brit, can't you say I'm busy? Get lost. Oh my gosh, I can't take it, guys. Literally, it's the worst. Not to mention, online dating is against the rules of Roblox. So like, why is everyone into breaking rules? These online daters are everywhere, and even in my own home. I thought I was safe here. I mean, how do I stop them? There's gotta be a way. Wait, what the? I got a notification on my laptop. Wait, someone's renting a plot? For only like a dollar a week? That's a steal. Wait, I think I got an idea on how I can catch these online daters and stop them once and for all. Let's go to the plot. Hey, I saw your ad. You're renting out this plot? Yeah, my online boyfriend didn't buy me Olivia Rodrigo tickets, so I'm renting his plot out. Wait, you're an online dater? Yeah, it's so much fun. Maybe you should try it sometime. Uh, that's okay. So you said the rent is only a dollar a week? Yep. Okay, here's a whole year in advance. Oh my gosh, thanks. Now let me give you perms super quick. Have fun building. I'm going to the mall. Awesome, but not awesome that she was also an online dater. But I'm going to start building. Hop into build mode. I am going to build a cafe to catch online daters. Let's get started. Now I don't want to make like a massive cafe. I want something like really, really cute. All right, so we have the walls. Like right back here, I'm going to put a little kitchen. And then right here will kind of be like the little front area that you come and you order. And right in the middle of the cafe, I'm gonna include something super special and fun. But you guys will have to wait to see exactly what I put there, because it is going to be a surprise. So that looks good so far, and we need a little floor entrance. So here is like a sidewalk, and then I'm probably gonna put some plants along the side. So we will put the floor in for that, and I think we're gonna go with the pine cone shade. Awesome. And let's add a little fence around it too. Pretty. So now it looks like an official planter area. So let's start with the very front. I am going to add a door. I feel like this is kind of like classic cafe. It kind of gives like a modern vibe, but I'm going to change the color and I'm going to make it white. Perfect. And then I think I'm going to do like gold accents throughout. Now time for windows. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right, so let's just go a little window crazy, shall we? Now, I'm still going to keep a secret as to what is behind these windows. Leave, I guess, in the comments, and maybe you'll be right. Okay, so the basic structure, I think, looks good. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. And exterior paint is just about done. Ah, looks pretty good to me. Now, time for the roof. So, for the roof, I think I'm going to do, like, a basic flat roof. Yes. Cafe-ish, right? We are going to add the roof here, but I'm not gonna cover the secret area. Perfect. Yes! Now that area is going to have a special roof of its own, which will just be a glass roof. Always a big fan of tiles on roof, so let's see what we got. We could do like this. Nah, not, not really vibing with it. Maybe just like a Classic. Oh wait, do you make it like a wood texture? And we are going to make it like this darkish gray. Now let's hop out and see if it like makes sense spacing wise. Oh, wait a second, I got a text. It's from Brenda. She said you forgot to do the dishes and mom's gonna be so mad that she'll ground you for eternity. I gotta head home and fast. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. Ah, and there are a ton of dishes to do. I gotta get these done fast. Oh, goody, you're doing the dishes. Brenda, is mom really mad at me? I don't know. Mom's still at bingo with her friends. Look, look at my 
new Gucci bag. I love online dating. Wait, hold on. You're trying to tell me that mom's not here? Well, it's my day to do chores, and I thought you'd be too dumb to check the schedule. And huh, looks like I was right. Brenda, you're the worst. Why are you online dating? You should really stop. It's bad. No way. <gasps> Finally. What is it, Bren? It's beautiful. Oh, my Amazon orders. See? Look at all the things my online boyfriend got me. Why would I ever stop online dating? My pineapples, this is insane. Yeah, I know. Ah, I can't wait to do unboxing videos on my YouTube channel. So exciting. Uh, while you do that, I'm actually going to head to work. Work? What's that? We're back at the cafe. <gasps> oh my gosh. I forgot about a bathroom. Now that would be awful. Easy enough. Now throw in some bathroom stall doors. Now, <laughs> back to the rest of the cafe. We are going to add flooring. Awesome. And I think I want to do like a classic wood. Some classic black and white tile. I love this. There's something like so, I don't know, kind of chic about it. We will do subway tile. Awesome. And we'll cover the walls with it too. What color am I painting the walls? I feel like I should kind of just like keep it simple and clean and do white. But I'm going to add some wall trim. All right, I think we're just about done with the wall trim. Now let's work on the actual like cafe part. The most important part. So for that, we are gonna hop in and start with like a display case for all of our baked goods. I'm gonna put that right here. So then that way I can add some counters. That looks awesome so far. But I'm going to re-texture the color. So the top of the counter I'm gonna do as like a marble. I love that so far. And then I have to change the display case to, oh my gosh, yes, that gold accent is everything on the display case. I love it. But we need a big decal in the back for our fake little menu. I think I'm going to go with this one. Perfect, I think that looks good. And I have a custom decal already made for a menu. And now for the most important part, which is, drum roll please, espresso machine. All right, we're gonna do three different espresso machines. And down below, we need to add a dishwasher and we need shelves for all the coffee cups. If it's gonna be a cafe, I need those online daters paying for what they're buying. So I'm going to add in a register. And to add to the romance factor, we are going to add some plants. And then because it is my cafe, we are gonna make the roses pink. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few coffee mugs up here. Zesty! What are you doing here in build mode over on this side of town? Oh my gosh, it's my best friend Sophie! Hey girlie, what's going on? Oh, not much, you know, just riding around causing some trouble. <laughs> what are you up to? This isn't your house. I know. Oh my gosh. Sophie, have you noticed like how many extra online daters there have been lately in every single server? Yeah. It has been making me nauseous. Dating is so gross. I prefer the single life myself. Well, bestie, I bought this plot of land for wicked cheap, so that way I can build a cafe and catch those online daters and stop them from online dating once and for all. Oh my gosh, girly, I love it. Can I please have a tour? Please, please, please? Of course you can, Sophie. Come right this way. But you moved too slow. I'm sorry, I was fixing my hair. I only like to wear my headphones when I'm in proper build mode. Whoa, okay, it's real dark. Um, I can't really see much, Britt. You should probably add some lights. But so far, so good. Now, uh, what is this little cage thing doing in the center of the room? I am gonna build something super, super special to catch those online daters. <gasps> what is it, what is it? Come here, I'll tell you, it's a secret. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, Bessie, please can I work here when you open it? I just wanna be a part of it. I hate online daters. Of course, you're hired, Bestie. Now, uh, I gotta get back to building because there's no way I can open this cafe when it's um pitch black inside and I really don't have anywhere for anyone to sit. 
Yeah, girl, you have a lot of work to do. And I'm gonna go shopping for our work uniforms over and out. Myself! Okay, guys, like Sophie said, uh, got a lot of work to do. Let's hop back into build mode. Okay, so my cafe is crazy, crazy dark. I have to change that immediately. So that way, when Sophie comes back, I can actually give her a proper tour of what my poor cafe looks like. So I am going to add a chandelier and actually make it a double chandelier. Let's add some tables, shall we? And since it's for online daters, all gonna be on dates. So I am going to do these fancy chairs. Some Yep, looks good so far. So since the vibe is like romance and love, we have to make sure that we have a really, really pretty centerpiece for our table. We'll add roses and maybe a candle. A candle might be a little too much. Maybe, okay, I have an idea. I'm going to put a candle on this table. There we are. Tapping is so hard sometimes. And I think I wanna add some string light as well. Ooh, or do we keep with the chandelier vibe? I talked myself into it. Chandeliers it is. Now to add some plants. Now time for some curb appeal because uh, it's looking rough out there. So I'm going to add a bush here and here. Love it. <gasps> Guys, it's looking so good so far. But I have two surprises for you guys that I am gonna finish off camera because, well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I built it in front of you, right? You guys are gonna love it. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna do a little tour of the cafe and ta-da! Bestie! You're finished, I see. Let me take a look around. Okay, now we're gonna have to fill up the case over here with some baked goods. Oh, that's easy. My aunt's Betty Crocker. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I haven't ever told you about that. Well, look at the menu we have. It's so cute. We got sandwiches, we got sweets, coffee. Girl, this is everything. Now come right this way, and what do you think? What, of a chair? <gasps> oh, no, you mean an aquarium. Brits, it's so cute. I can see myself sitting here as an online dater. No, Sophie. Well, actually, wait, that is good. That means this will work when we try to catch them. I know. <gasps> and speaking of which, the final moment is here. I've got our uniform options. Okay, come on. Let's go over here so we can get a better look. And there's a little more space. Yeah, good call. All right. Option one. Bobby, a hazmat suit. Now hear me out, bestie. This will protect us from what people call online daters. None of their germs will get to us. And I did get it in pink as well. I think that's a perfect. I don't think a hazmat suit will work, Sophie. It's not very inviting. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Now, option number two. Classy pink tuxedos. We can all, you know, it works with the romantic vibes, don't you think? People love fancy things when they're in love, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Soph, it's cute and all, but honestly, I... I don't think that's the one. Jeez Louise, tough crowd. All right, bestie, here's the last option I got. What do you think? <gasps> Sophie, I love it, love it, love it. It's so perfect. Awesome. So, I need to know, what's my official title? I have been putting a lot of thought into this, and I'm thinking that you, Sophie, will be the assistant manager. Oh, yeah. I like the sound of that. I'm officially assistant general manager. Uh, wait, what is this place called again? Um, I was kind of thinking of calling it Britney Plays Cafe, because plays and cafe, they, they kind of rhyme a little, right? Perfect! All right, Bestie, let's get the word out of this online data cafe and catch them! Woohoo! Cafe opening, come check it out! Brand new cafe! Bestie. This is a total bust. Even if people walk by us, they just ignore us. I have an idea. How about we go the social media route? I'm going to put together a post on my Instagram. And guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram. You cafe opening online daters. Welcome. It's posted. Okay. And um, what do we do now, Brett? Well, now. 
now we wait. Come on, let's head back to the cafe in case anyone shows up. I'll beat you in a race. No, okay, no, Sophie, no, get back here. Oh man, I hope someone comes in soon. Yeah, me too. But I'll be ready. Just gotta get a good stretch in. You know, Sophie, you could help and maybe mop the floors? Uh, no, no, that's not for me. So this is what you've been up to all day? Brenda, and uh, who's that? This is my online boyfriend, Kyle. Sup? And since you own this cafe, and I'm your sister, I figured we should come and check it out and get a free lunch out of it. Why in the pineapples do you think you get a free lunch? Because I'm related to the owner. Gosh, you're slow. I hope the service is not as stupid as you are. What did you do? So, so, it, it's okay, calm down. And let me show you to a table. No, step aside. Ah, what, uh, did she, oh, oh, okay. Goodness. A Brit? That sister of yours is the worst! I can't believe she's our first customer. I know, Soph, but she is an online dater. I mean, she brought her online boyfriend with her. Hello! What's it gonna take to get some service over here? Coming! Oh my gosh, she is not getting a tip. So welcome to the Britney Place Cafe. What can I get you guys to drink? Mountain Dew. And I'll take a Voss water at room temperature with a lemon. Uh, I'm sorry, we only have Water? Oh my gosh, like what kind of couples cafe is this? Do you even know how to run a proper business, Brittany? Whoa, babe, your sister sounds stupid. That's because she is. Yeah, I'll just, oh, I'll be right back with your drinks. You know, Britt? What is it, Brenda? Next time, you don't need to give me a play-by-play. -play. Just do your job. So Kyle, will you cut me this Louis Vuitton what I found? I hate online daters. I know this is my sister, but she's awful just like the rest of them. Now, I don't really know what to do, so we don't have Mountain Dew, do we? No, definitely not. Guess maybe I'll just take a glass of water from the tap? I would give her fish tank water, but that's just me. And then I'll make Kyle a, a peppermint mocha. Wish me luck, Soph. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Okay, here are your drinks. Is there anything else I can get you for the moment? Um, hold on, let me taste my water. Oh my gosh, this is not boss water at all. Do you even listen? You are so embarrassing. I'm sorry, Brenda. Oh my gosh, but wait, did I tell you? I found this random diamond necklace in the back where the kitchen is. Wait, you did not. But it's mine, so don't even think of stealing it. That chance, loser. It's mine. Ah! Whoa, what the heck was that? I don't know, Brenda might have seen a spider. You might want to go check in on her. Oh my gosh, yeah, gotta go save my online girlfriend. Ah! Oh my gosh, that was awesome and so much easier than I thought. Sophie Curly, it worked. Uh, yeah, bestie, good job. Okay, now you make sure you watch out for the front. And remember, only online daters are allowed in this cafe. If anyone else shows up, tell them to go. But be nice, whatever you tell them. Yeah, I'm on it. You can count on me, bestie. Hello? Whoa, this place really is cool. Timmy, do you have an online girlfriend with you? No, I just wanted to come and check out the Britney Place Cafe. Then get out. But I really want to come here for a... I said get out. Ah! You can be my online girlfriend. So, did you guys like the surprise trap tour to catch those online daters? I thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, Brit, hey sis. This is so stupid and pathetic. Let me and Kyle out right now. Yeah, I don't want to be here. I have basketball practice in an hour. Okay, I will, but under one condition. Yeah, whatever, little Brenda. Just let us out. If you promise to break up and never, and I mean never, online date anyone ever again. No, I, I'm not doing it. Fine, then I guess you two will have to stay in there forever. Unless you sign this legal document I have binding you to never online date again. No way. Kyle buys me things, and I'm not breaking up with him. Yeah. Yeah, and Brenda thinks I'm the super popular jock and she's really pretty. Wait a second. Kyle, what did you mean when you said I think you're the super popular jock? Don't worry about it, beautiful. Are you not a super popular jock? Nah, I'm a total nerd IRL. This isn't even my real voice. Come from knocking stiff, Ohio. <gasps> Ohio? Oh my gosh, okay, Brenda, <laughs> come on out. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, here. I'll never online date again. Thank you. That was pretty quick. Oh, man. <coughs> oh, man. I knew it was too good to be true. On to the next. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, nope. Um, sir, I'm gonna need you to step back. Whoa, what the heck? Sorry. You didn't sign the document. Well, I ain't signing that. How else am I supposed to date super pretty girls and totally lie to them? Maybe try dating the old-fashioned way by meeting people in real life? Yeah, whatever. I like having alter egos. You know, I'm gonna be honest, Brenda's like one of five girlfriends. Oh my gosh, you're terrible. Well, have fun in here. Thanks. That was easy. Burn it. Look what we got. Four online daters. Oh yeah, online dating will be over in no time. I love you. You're so cool. Yeah, thanks, Christina. My name's Monica. Oh, uh, 